Hey, what is going on my YouTube family? This is your boy Mike Jacks. I am back at you again. So I just made a video um, about four common mistakes that buyers make when purchasing a home. So this video is about four common mistakes that sellers make when selling a home. So let's jump right into it. All right, so mistake number one. Uh, most people that are selling their homes, they do not hire a real estate agent. Now I know if you're watching this video and you've done that, like you're for sale by owner, you're probably gonna say, well, Mike, you're gonna say that because you're a realtor. Well, no, that's not why I'm saying it. It is a very common mistake because um, a lot of people that do not have realtors, here's the reality. They don't have the tools. They don't have the access to the market and the tools that real estate agents have, right? So when you're selling your home, you're not only uh, do you not have the tools, you're going to take on a lot more stress. You, uh, your negotiation is going to be a headache. And most of the time, you're not really getting the fair value of your home like you think you are. Because whatever a lot of people use, whether they use these websites or whatnot, a lot of those things are inaccurate compared to what real estate agents have. And when we do a competitive market analysis report, we can actually show you what your house is estimated to be worth way more accurate than everything else that you have. I mean, hey, we pay a lot of money to have these tools. That's the value that real estate agents bring. And here's a little quick secret. Realtors are free. That's right. Our experience and our expertise is free until closing. So we don't get paid unless we get help you get the results that you're looking for. So why not have that free guidance and that free expertise to assist you while you're trying to sell your home? I mean, come on, it's a no brainer. So number two, because people don't have a realtor, the second common mistake is they overprice their house and it sits on the market longer than they anticipated. And all of a sudden they humble themselves and say, hey, let me go get a real estate agent. Now, real quick, I'm going to say this, unless you're a realtor or unless you have a ton of experience or you know some realtors, it's rare, it's rare to see most people sell their house on their own and, and get the most of their buck and, and get it off the market fast without using a real estate agent. This is the value that realtors have. So while I'm saying I'm not saying that it's impossible, but I'm saying it's, it's very highly unlikely and it's a lot more challenging to do. Try selling a house on your own and hear the horror stories from many people. I've heard it all. Trust me. All right. So going to number three not being honest about a lot of the repairs that need to be fixed on your home. So when you get a realtor, you're going to have to fill out a seller's disclosure and you got to disclose what's on the property. So if you don't be honest with your realtor from up front and let them know like, hey, I have a leak in the roof or the soffit on the roof is, you know, needs to be replaced or whatever the case may be, you got to be up front because guess what? When a buyer has an inspection, those issues are going to come out. And if you didn't disclose that knowingly, they're going to, you know, that can lead to some a slippery slope. So you don't want to get into that. So make sure you're honest and then and, and about everything because otherwise it, you're going to have to disclose it anyway if an inspector comes out there and then they 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 have proof of that and someone backs out and you put it back on the market then you're really going to have to put it out there anyway so you're not going to run game guys thinking that i can just get around and hide these mistakes it will come come out what's in the dark will come to light true story all right and the last uh common mistake there are many common mistakes but i'm just doing four the com the most common four that i've seen from my experience there's a lot of them i should say um, is not decluttering or cleaning your home, you know, right when you list it. So if you ever been a seller and you're selling your home, make sure your house is presentable. Make sure the colors on the, uh, on the wall that you have that you love, it might not be someone else's flavor. So try to have a neutral color that, you know, is not to your liking, but something that everyone can say, okay, this is neutral, you know, that's the best bet. So make sure you clean your house. I know it sounds like common sense, but you'll be surprised how many people's version of clean it, it's, it's amazing. You work with a lot of sellers, you'll see everybody's uh, definition of, of a cleaning their house and decluttering their house is different. So make sure you have that house clean, okay? Because remember, people are coming to look at your home and how you, know, how you have it is how it looks. And that's the kind of responses you're going to get. So make sure you have your house up to speed, you know, repair it as best as you can. Make sure there's not a lot of major issues. If you can, kind of know about your house and get with a realtor and then a realtor's expertise will be able to help you point in the right direction. So those are the four most common mistakes. If you have anything that you want me to go over and talk about in real estate, please put it in my comments below and I'll do my best to cover it. And uh, I'm glad you guys are tuning in and listening. I hope this helps somebody out there. All right, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Take care, many blessings.